From Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. One of the things that I enjoy talking about is anything that the ladies like to talk about. (laughs) And the ladies love fashion. So we have, of course, our own fashion expert here on Let's Talk News Now, Alexi Taran, designer, stylist, uh, part of the Las Vegas Design Fashion Council, Design, Fashion Design, Design Council. Council yep. uh, congratulations, by the way, on an outstanding show about oh, oh, two you. weeks ago. Yeah. Thank you. It was, it was absolutely fantastic. You, Dave Dupa, David Dupas, uh, Dupas, uh, and uh, Chef Q. Chef Q. Well, no, we said, well, there's a couple others that were in there, and that was. I remember one very specific gentleman, uh, Aldo. Aldo. Aldo, Aldo, Aldo Mercado. He's, nice. he's also the vice president of the council. Nice. And he's originally from Brazil. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And he's brought all of his fashion and things from South America. Yeah, and I felt it was like, kind of like a, like a uh, Let's Talk News Now kind of family day because Ella was emceeing yeah. the event. Yeah. And Deborah Ashton Cook was your... She was my finale model. And Yay. we had a fantastic nice. time. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was absolutely great. And the mayor was there. It was all kinds of fun. Mm-hmm. All right. Just some of the great things that are going on here around uh, Las Vegas because we continue to develop new things, which is also fashion. And I know that that's both yours and David's huge passion Absolutely. is to bring some fashion to Las Vegas. Exactly. Only because people have seen me walking. <laughs> <laughs> As to you, from you. <laughs> no, it's, it's all because of the fact that there is, you know, and, and Alexi, I know you've got some absolute fashion do's and don'ts. I should probably leave the set now because it's going to be bad. <laughs> well, you know, as far as fashion goes, and we can, t- and I'm going to talk not only about clothing, but hair and, and so on. But, you know, especially I noticed with a lot of men is that if you're going to wear a suit, at least have it tailored so it fits you so it doesn't look like it's, it's your father's or your grandfather's suit. And the other thing that I just cannot wrap my head around is that whole saggy thing that the guy is wearing in their pants. I mean, don't they realize that it's like a prison connotation? <laughs> and it's and it's sort of a suggestive thing that I don't think they want to be related to if they're straight, you know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, okay, let's oh, just that. skinny jeans? The, guys. Um, the skinny no, jeans the are great if you're jeans. like 20 something yeah. but once you're kind of getting over you know you're getting over a certain age over a certain age and you're not skinny oh, are we talking about older guys <laughs> oh wait wait right. so you okay. tell me i have to take this back now <laughs> you told me they look nice on me what are you talking about i think with I, I think once you've reached a certain age and you're a guy that you should probably not do set quite the skinny jean maybe more of a straight leg right. that that kind of contours and fits your body if, okay. when you're in great if you're in, in decent shape that's Well, a lot of Harley people that ride Harleys, they right. like the tighter jean with right. the boots and all that. that but it's uh, not that's skinny totally jeans, appropriate. Yeah. That's totally appropriate. I think appropriate. that's hot. Yeah. Mm. I yeah. mean, if they've got the if they've got the legs and the body to go with it, fabulous. Yeah. But if you if they got skinny legs and they've got the the bird belly, <laughs> then maybe not so much. <laughs> yeah, I, and we've all seen the I skinny agree. jeans. <laughs> that are halfway down it's like and then yeah. there's the belt to keep yeah, them exactly. going. I, I, and and then they have the then they have the skinny jeans that it's <laughs> that they've made out of material like like you could actually be either working out or pajamas and right. i you know oh i'm God. i'm all for comfort but come on i mean let's be serious about it. <laughs> i mean it, it, it's it's just kind of ridiculous at one at some point it's like what's next house slippers outside yeah <laughs> we've seen that you know, too yeah. i would like that <laughs> 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 here's the fun, i would be here's, interested in that here's the kind of fun thing okay now alexi we were talking about this we're not doing it we were talking about the fact that we were all going to show up on the set at six o'clock in the morning in nothing but those one-piece pajamas. Right. You know, just kind oh, of oh, the onesies. The onesies. Yes. Yes. With I'll the back take doors print. Well. Yeah. Or the like, front. Right. With the little so, booties. But the thing is that there is fashion has such a wide array, and I know we've just got a couple moments, but we just got it's got such a wide array and a huge impact between you know, formal and informal and casual, and now everything has become casual. I mean, you can go just about anywhere. Places that I would only, mm-hmm. 20 years ago, would have been black tie only, and now exactly. you watch people coming in in blue jeans and boots and shirts, and, and they go, what? what? And, it used to be a distinguishing factor sure. on your status and where you were at. Right. 
And you know, and, and that's the one thing that I hope it is going to eventually evolve again with fashion is that people are going to take a take pride again and an interest in dressing up for whatever occasion it is. Because I remember growing up here in Las Vegas that you didn't you didn't go out to dinner, you didn't go to any sort of function without being dressed appropriately. I mean, when I was a little kid, you didn't even get on a plane unless you were dressed. Right. You know, right. and, and that's and, true. And and everything has changed so drastically. That's how I'd always thought about casinos. So <laughs> the first time I came in one, I tried to dress up, but I was the only one. <laughs> so, yeah, so why um, would I go to a club and try to meet a guy when right. he's looking the way he looks? Exactly. I wouldn't do it. I. One question though about fashion: What is it with the wife beaters? Why are they called that? Um, that is always a question <laughs> that I have always wondered about myself. I have no clue. Okay. That, that's before my time. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you why. As always, Alexi, it is a huge privilege to get a chance to have you on the show oh, because it's, my pleasure. it's always yeah. a lot of fun. Right. And you have such great insights. It was like we learn something and we laugh all the same time, which is a great way to start off your morning. Because after all, this is Let's Talk News Now. Because if you're talking about it, we're talking about it. We're going to go ahead and take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to sit down with a Kelly Anderson. So don't go away. We're back. In a